So I get this question a lot. And what is it like, Wojo, running a seven figure agency? Like what are the daily operations? What do things look like? You know, I kind of want to get an idea of what you do on a daily basis and you know, how everything runs, right? And it's actually a good question uh, because, you know, before I get into this, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out the algorithm. I, I, I really appreciate you guys, you know, joining the page, uh, watching my videos and giving me the love and uh, support. So that's, that's really it. But I just want to get into this. So as far as like what a daily day looks like, I mean, all of our teams are kind of broken up. So, you know, I, because it's just better. It's more productive that way. So we're now moving everything over to Basecamp. And I'll be making a video about that, by the way, on why we moved everything from Slack and ClickUp to only Basecamp. Um, so I'm excited to show you guys that. The next thing that I really want to explain is that we have all these different teams. We have a media buying team, email, customer relations, client relations, same thing, project management, our virtual assistants, management, you know, the media buyers, I believe I said that. Um, and then we have graphic designers, video editors, personal branding, right? And we, and then landing page developers and then copywriters. So we have all these different teams because those are the deliverables in the business. So every single team meets every morning, right? So we have a company-wide meeting once a week. And then we have these, every team has a Zoom call every morning to check in with their team, what needs to be done today, um, what deliverables need to be met. And then throughout the day, every team might have a call with a client or two, right? Um, to go over results, go over deliverables, go over edits, go over feedback, things like that. So, you know, from nine to 10 a.m., it's mostly just, you know, internal team meetings. And then, you know, probably from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. is, you know, looking at chats, seeing what clients want, feedback, you know, it's probably from like 10 to 11, it's just like an hour of checking chats, um, you know, seeing what what's going on. Maybe a client messages at 10 o'clock at night. Obviously, we're not going to answer because our office opens at 9 to 5. So it's like we need to make sure that we're obviously looking at what that client sent while we were off hours, answering any objections, you know, waking up and then taking care of that. After that's done, now we're getting into what was discussed on the team meeting. And that's the, the fulfillment deliverable for the next three to four hours is everybody's, you know, doing landing pages, developing, getting logins, all these, like, that is just where fulfillment happens. Like, there's nothing that I can really explain to you to make sure that you understand that, but that's literally what happens. Um, we're just doing shit. We're doing work. We're launching ads. We're getting edits done. We're getting all the, like, we're just doing the work. And then from really three to 5 PM, you know, we have this thing called automatic check-ins with Basecamp, we're basically, we're updating the client on what was worked on today. So, you know, from three to 5 p.m., we're answering these questions daily. What was worked on today? You know, how close are we to our launch date? And then the third question is, you know, what are the ad results and how to be optimized? And that's for the media buying team to answer. So that is where we're always keeping the client updated on results, you know, optimization outcomes, you know, results, um, you know, just deliverables, you know, where they currently are in their process with us. Um, so that the client's always in the know. We don't want to leave the client out of the know because then once communication is broken, things are pretty rocky. Um, and that's what I learned. That's why I moved to base camp. I'm making a video all about that. Um, and then as far as like, you know, we have a finance meeting once a week where it's me, my, you know, partner, Tiffany. And then we have, you know, our, our finance manager to go over, you know, what's the minimum amount of month per, you know, what's the minimum amount that we can spend per month to make this, you know, profit thing churn. We go over LTV, we go over prop for the month. We go over all, just all these things, um, you know, that really make the business churn. Um, what investments we could be making, you know, should we be getting press? Should we be doing this? Like making those big needle mover decisions. Then we have one management meeting a week, which is one, person from each team that's obviously the head we all get on a call we talk about you know kpis what was done this week you know did we meet our numbers you know did we get this amount of landing pages done did we reach these clients launch dates did we do x y and z to make sure that the needle is always being moved right and that is something where you know obviously it's tough um it's not easy to be doing all those things um but at the same time like that's why, you know, I have Tiffany, who's my partner, who handles a lot of that stuff. And you, you know, no matter how big your agency is, you need to have that right hand person that you can depend on, who knows their shit, who has experience um, and know those people are not cheap, but you need to be able to supply and, 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 and have that, you know, right hand man or woman beside you to help you get things in order and in check. Um, as far as what I do on a daily basis, it's more so the biggest needle movers, like building out new systems, delegating that, finding contractors to do that, you know, um, you know, doing my podcasts, doing these videos and doing things that keep the brand in check. Um, you know, going on my Instagram story, trying to get clients off my Instagram story, etc. 
Um, and those are the things that, you know, obviously I'm doing on a daily basis. Um, and then on top of that, you know, we're, like I said, we moved to base camp. So I'm the head of that. I'm the head of doing all that. We're switching to DM traffic. So now I have to go make my VSL and I got to do all this many chat stuff in the chat script. That's me. I'm doing more of the bigger money making tasks that are going to set us up for long-term success. That is my job as a CEO is to make sure that the team is good. Everybody's happy. Everybody's good on their softwares, blah, blah, blah. Make sure billing's always working. You know, I don't do payroll. Someone else does, but um, I have to make sure that everybody is satisfied with what's going on and taking that feedback and implementing new things, you know, um, and that's that, that's the game for me. I'm doing more of the big money needle movers. So um, that's really what it's like to run a seven figure SMMA. And then after five, it's usually chill because we set those boundaries with the clients. Um, if anything, maybe we'll have one meeting, you know, maybe me and Tiff will have a meeting or maybe me and someone else or just me following up on some things. Maybe a couple team members ask me a couple questions, whatever the case may be. And then it's mostly just, you know, like personal time. People have families, people have stuff going on. So um, that's really what it's like to run a seven figure SMMA. But I appreciate you guys heavily checking out this video, getting some introspective into what I do on a daily basis. And I will talk to you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.